In question one of this exercise, the problem statement says, in which of the following situations does the list of numbers involved make an arithmetic progression and why? So four parts are given to us, four statements are given to us. In each statement, in each situation, we will get a sequence of numbers. We will get a list of numbers and we have to determine whether that list of numbers forms an arithmetic progression or not. So let's do each part one by one. So let's go to the first part. In the first part, the statement says the taxi fare after each kilometer when the fare is 15, uh, 15 rupees for the first kilometers uh, and rupees 8 for each additional kilometer. Okay, so let's write the taxi fare for the first few kilometers. So after one kilometer, the taxi fare will be rupees 15 which is the fare uh, for the first kilometer given to us. After two kilometers, the taxi fare will be rupees 15 plus rupees 8, which is equal to rupees 23. So after three kilometers, the taxi fare will be rupees 15 uh, plus for the two additional kilometers after the first kilometer, it will be rupees 16 or rupees 8 into 2. So rupees 16 uh, plus 15 or rupees 31. Then after four kilometers, the taxi fare will be rupees 15 for the first kilometers plus rupees eight into three for the three additional kilometers. So this will be a total of rupees 39. So the sequence of numbers that we get is rupees 15, rupees 23, rupees 31 and rupees 39 and the sequence will continue. So for uh, between any pair of uh, successive or consecutive numbers, the difference is 8. The difference is plus 8 because for each additional kilometer, uh, rupees 8 more is charged. So clearly we get an arithmetic progression in this case. And the reason we get the arithmetic progression is that for each additional kilometer, rupees 8 gets added. So the difference is constant and that constant difference or that common difference of the arithmetic progression is 8 rupees. Okay, that's all part 1. Now let's go to part 2. So in part 2, the statement or the situation says the amount of air present in a cylinder when a vacuum pump removes one fourth of the air remaining in the cylinder at a time. So this is a slightly tricky one. So let's take an actual initial volume of the cylinder and then see what will happen if we remove one fourth of the air at a time. So suppose that the initial air in the cylinder is let's say 16 liters. So I'm taking some multiple of four. So it's easy to calculate. Now, when the vacuum is, uh, when the vacuum pump is used once, it will remove one fourth of 16 liters or it will remove um, four liters from the cylinder. So now we will be left with 12 liters in the cylinder. Okay. Next, it will remove one fourth of 12 liters. So one fourth of 12 liters is three liters. So three liters will be removed. And now we will be left with nine liters in the cylinder. Now it will remove, if we use it again, it will remove one fourth of nine liters or 2.25 uh, liters. And we will be left with nine minus uh, 2.25 or 6. 75 liters and so on. So clearly because in at each uh, usage of the pump, the amount removed, the amount of air removed is different. Hence we get this sequence 16, 12, 9, 6.75, which is not in arithmetic progression. The difference is not constant. And the reason the difference is not constant is because every time different amount of air is being removed this one fourth of the air that is being removed is one fourth of the amount present at that time. And that is why every time a different amount of air is removed, which is why we do not get an arithmetic progression in part two. Okay, now let's go to part three. So in part three, the question says, the situation says, the cost of digging a well after every meter of digging, when it costs rupees 150 for the first meter, and rises by rupees 50 for each subsequent meter. So this is actually kind of similar to the uh, first part. So after, so let's write the cost of digging after every 
meter so after 1 meter the cost will be rupees 150 for the first meter after 2 meters the cost will be rupees 150 for the first meter and then rupees 50 for the second meter then for 3 meters the cost will be rupees 150 for the first meter and then rupees 50 into 2 for the remaining 2 meters and then after 4 meters the cost will be rupees 150 for the first meter and rupees 50 into 3 for uh, the next 3 meters so the sequence that we get is rupees 150 then rupees 200 then rupees 250 um and then rupees 300 and the sequence will continue so clearly we see that this is an arithmetic progression from 150 to 200 is a jump of 50 from 200 to 250 is a jump of 50 again from 250 to 300 is a jump of 50 again so we get an arithmetic progression and the reason we get an arithmetic progression is because for each subsequent meter uh rupees 50 additional are added so every time 1 meter uh depth increases rupees 50 are added so the difference is constant the difference is 50 so in this part we get an arithmetic progression now finally let's go to the fourth part the amount of money in the account every year when rupees 10000 is deposited at compound interest of 8% per annum now to analyze this situation we can make use of the formula that the amount after n years in a compound interest scheme is the principal into 1 plus the rate of interest uh, by 100 raised to the power the number of years the number of um, years for which compounding is happening so in this case for example uh, after the first year so after the first year the total amount will be uh 10000 the principal amount times 1 plus r by 100 so the rate is 8% uh, per annum so r by 100 or 0.08 raised to the power 1 or i can write this as 10000 into 1.08 raised to the power 1 then after the second year uh the total amount will be 10000 into 1.08 again the same uh, base factor but this time raised to the power 2 because uh, this is compounding for 2 years then after the third year uh, the total amount will be uh, a will be 10000 into 1.08 to the power 3 and so on so the sequence of numbers that we will get is 10000 into 1.08 then 10000 into 1.08 square then 10000 into 1.08 cube and it is easy to see that the difference between uh, a pair of consecutive numbers in this series is not constant so these numbers will not form an arithmetic progression and the reason they will not form an arithmetic progression the reason this difference is not constant is that every year the amount is growing so every year the interest is being calculated on the new amount so the interest that gets added every year is higher than the interest that got added the previous year and this is the whole uh, behavior of compounding you know when the amount grows uh, the amount of interest that gets accrued every year is higher than the previous year so the progression that we get the progression of amounts that we get will not be in arithmetic progression okay so that's all part four let's summarize the four answers that we got so in part 1 in the taxi fare situation we got an ap in part 2 the amount of air present we did not get an ap in part 3 the cost of digging a well we got an ap and in part 4 the compound interest situation we did not get an ap so with that question 1 is done to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams Explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.